Hi, it's Kristen and Nasia from Les Maison Partners, or Nasia and Kristen <laughs> from Les Maison Partners. So we are here today to give you our top four, four, four tips on moving with your pets. As many as 68% of American households have at least one pet. That's significantly more than those that have children under 18. And, and with younger generations putting off having children, household pets have filled the role for many Americans. And because your furry friends are a part of your family, you need to consider their needs when you're thinking about moving. Here are four important things to consider when you're moving with your pets. Number one, what are the local pet laws? This is an often forgotten aspect when it comes to thinking about a place to live. But it's important to remember that animal laws are handled by local municipalities. Things like leash laws, noise ordinances, and even breed restrictions can come into play and catch new residents off guard. Also important to remember, if you're thinking about joining an HOA, that HOA may have additional rules that you'll need to live by. Numero two, <laughs> what is the outdoor space like? Many pets, dogs specifically, obviously benefit from lots of outdoor time. So what type of outdoor space are you providing for them? Consider the yard size, whether it has a fence, and even what type of landscaping before purchasing. Also think about what type of major roads are mm -hmm. close by the property. If your pet gets loose, will it be in immediate danger due to heavy or fast moving traffic. Number three, does the house have pet friendly floors? The biggest impact your pet might have on your house will be the flooring. So it's important to think about how those floors will age over time. Big dogs can even scratch certain types of hardwood and carpet is easily soiled and not always easily cleaned. And finally, number four, is the floor, floor plan of the house accommodating to both you and your pet together? You'll quickly grow tired of your house if you're always tripping over your big dog. If you're downsizing, you need to consider how much more space your pet is used to. Do you have room for a big dog bed or a tall cat tree? Are there stairs that your pet will need to navigate? Many pets will struggle with steps as they age. So are you prepared to install a carpet runner up the stairs or relegate your pet to a single floor? Think about how your house will accommodate your pet throughout its entire life. Your pet will have to deal with the stress of moving as well to a new space. So consider how this new home will affect them throughout their entire life. So do you have a pet at home? Especially a pet that's not a dog or a cat. I'm always interested in finding out about that kind of uh, pet. If so, what are your other considerations you take into account when you're moving? Let us know in the comments and don't forget, make sure you subscribe, share. And like us. Thank you. Please Until next time. Like us. <laughs>